The last example is about a particle moving in a straight line, uh, and its velocity is given by v at t equals t cubed minus 3t. So the first question is asking us to find the acceleration of the particle at t equals 2. So we know that acceleration is the derivative of velocity, and we can find that equation fairly easily. This question is asking us to find the acceleration of the particle at 2. So we're going to plug in 2. And then this gives us our acceleration at 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 3 would be 9 meters per second squared. The next question says, if the initial displacement of the particle is 5 meters, find an expression for s, the displacement in terms of t. So here we're going in the opposite direction. So we are looking for s at t, which we know is the integral of v at t dt. Note this is an indefinite integral. So let's go ahead and plug our expression for v at t in as the integrand. And then again, this one we can also integrate fairly easily. So 1 over 4 t to the 4. Uh, let's see, minus, what is that? 3 over 2 t squared plus c. Now we're going to use our initial conditions. We know that the initial displacement is equal to 5, mm -hmm. which means that at... Uh, when I plug in t equals 0, I get that 5 equals c. So therefore, my expression for s at t is 1 over 4 t to the 4 minus 3 over 2 t squared plus 5. Okay. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to do is find the displacement traveled between 0 and 4 seconds. So here I can use the fundamental theorem of calculus, uh, and I'm going to use an indefinite integral. So my displacement is going to be the integral between 0 and 4 uh, of my velocity function. Uh, and so what I can do is integrate that. So I'm going to integrate v at t, or you can use your graphing calculator, uh, t cubed minus 3t dt. I did already integrate that, so I've got 1 quarter t to the 4 minus 3t squared at 4 and 0. Okay, note that there's no c here. Uh, because I'm doing a definite integral instead of an indefinite one. So then if I subtract that, I would get 1 quarter t to the 4, 4 squared. My other part is going to be 0, so I'm okay to go ahead here. Oh, let's see, 4 to the 4 is 64, I think. Oh, no, too low, 256. So now I've got 256 over 4. 4 squared is 16. I know that one. Uh, and 1632, 48 over 2. Those numbers look pretty nice. Let's see if I can reduce them. Look at that. 64 minus 24, which gives me 40 meters. That would be my displacement.